truth is, everything in my store works. Somebody loves everything I sell, somebody hates everything I sell. But that's not your concern. Your job is to sell product. Most growers are gonna fail, but don't worry about that. Sell them their product, take their money, put it in your register, and then remind them on their way out that you buy, sell, and trade used equipment so they wanna switch it up, they can come back in. Can't tell you how many times I've bought and sold the same equipment over and over. I've made so much money on that. Remember, take their money, say thank you. Not everyone's gonna succeed. That's not your job, you're a retail store. Let me be perfectly clear. Here at my store, we don't do freebies. We don't give away samples, and I don't put out brochures for products I don't carry. We do, however, give away lighters, fun stuff, stickers, things like my garden science magazine. That kind of stuff we do give away because it encourages sales. The manufacturers must be crazy if they think that I'm gonna put out a brochure for a product I don't carry. The customer would just leave my store and go buy it on the internet. If you've got a hydroponic store, you know the shit builds up. Those nutrients you can't sell, everybody stopping by, dropping shit off. So what do you do with it all? Well, I'm certainly not gonna give it away for free. You know that there's no freebies, no samples at my store. So I put a price sticker over the not for sale and I put it on my shelf. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna do what I do, start a shit shelf. All the stuff you can't sell, I give my employees like $5 bonuses. Sell something from the shit shelf, you get $5. It's amazing how you can motivate your employees to sell the stuff that you don't have to replace for $5. All right, let's talk telephone now. Because answering and ending phone calls is super important. Can't tell you how many people come into my store from the phone call and spend lots of money. So it's easy to answer the phone, right? People say hydroponics or whatever. It's ending the phone call. That's how you want to get the customers in. So what are some of the things that we do? Well, I offer them a free magazine. Hey, come on into the store and I'll give you a copy of Garden Science. Hey, come on into the store, I'll answer whatever questions you have and help you get started. Another thing is, you gotta be able to give directions. Your employees have to be able to tell people how to get to your store because the last thing you want someone to do is get lost, pull out their phone and do a search for hydroponic stores because they'll probably find another one that's not you. So it's super important that you be able to give directions. And if your employees can't, print up a card or something that they can read from, you know, hey, are you coming this way or that way? And then they just read the directions. Is the building across the street from you yellow? That works pretty good too. All of those kinds of things are designed to get the customer into your store. Then you can give them, of course, like garden science, you can get your name address, your store name address and phone number printed on the cover so they always know who you are. Remember, get them into your store. You can't get their money if they don't come into your store. A customer walks into your store and wants a printed estimate. They want like a detailed line item estimate of what they're looking for. What are you gonna do? Because I'll tell you, if you print them up an estimate and they bring it to my store, I'm not sure if I've ever lost one of those sales. I'll tell you what I do when someone comes into the store and wants an estimate instead of printing them an estimate. I ask them questions like, hey, when are you looking to get started? Have you done this before? How many watts are you looking for in flour? Anything to get them away from that estimate because I assure you, if an estimate leaves my store and goes somewhere else, they're gonna make the sale just like I would. Remember, always price everything at MSRP. The customer is going to want a discount later, so you should start as high as possible. Don't worry if they notice that your price is higher than another store's price. Remind them that deals happen at the register. Get your customer to put their products on the counter and work the deal there. They're always more committed to the buy when the product's on the counter. Every sale should be a win-win. I can't tell you how many customers come in my store and they want to be right. They want to be right more than they want their plants to grow. But then I can't tell you how many store owners want to be right. They want to be right more than they want their customers money. I however suffer from no such desire. I want the customers money and the worse kind of customer you are the more I want your money. I'm going to work extra hard to take your money just to punish you. That way it's a win-win situation. The customer gets to be right and I get their money. Cake. I leave my open sign on 24 seven. Why? Because a couple of times a month, some dude will come in and say, hey, I was here at like two in the morning and you weren't actually open. But hey, they're in my store now. Let them complain all they want. I can fix that with a sick deal. Better they should shop at my store than somewhere else. Remember, it's all about putting that money in the register.
If you've got a hydroponic store, you know the shit builds up. Those nutrients you can't sell, everybody's stopping by, dropping shit off. So what do you do with it all? Well, I'm certainly not going to give it away for free. You know that there's no freebies, no samples at my store. So I put a price sticker over the not for sale and I put it on my shelf. So what are you going to do? You're going to do what I do. Start a shit shelf. All the stuff you can't sell, I give my employees like $5 bonuses. Sell something from the shit shelf, you get $5. It's amazing how you can motivate your employees to sell the stuff that you don't have to replace for $5. All right, so what do you do when you hire a new salesperson at your store? What do I do when I hire a new salesperson at my store? I'll tell you, it's a real simple rule, and this is what I tell my salespeople. It's your job to ask the customer questions until you find something wrong with their garden. Then you sell them something to fix it. It's your job to interview the customer, ask them questions about their lights, water, nutrients, what they're doing, until you find something wrong with their garden and then maybe make a suggestion. Sell them less light, sell them more light, change their nutrients, whatever it is you're gonna do, that's your job. Now, when you're all done talking to the customer, if you haven't found anything wrong with their garden, I want you to reach out and shake their hand. I want you to look that customer in the eye and congratulate them. And then I want you to come find me because I'm going to fire you. Because if you can't find something wrong with a customer's garden, why are you working here?